Joining me now in the studio, uh, two gentlemen I want you to meet. Uh, one, uh, well, both ex-army, Private Sean Percival Scott. Hello, good to see you. Hello. And uh, Ed Parker. And Ed was a co-founder of a charity called Walking with the Wounded. It was set up, Ed, about, what, four years ago? Four years ago, yeah. Four years ago, and uh, you tried to, to raise money to help injured servicemen and women and rehabilitate them. And Th that's right. For us, it's all about employment, ultimately getting getting these men and women back into jobs. Yeah, right, but what Ed and Sean want to do, they want to get you on your feet, because you've heard of Chris Rhea and Driving Home for Christmas, which is one of my favorite songs, I have to say. But for you guys, you want people walking home for Christmas. Absolutely, Tell me about absolutely. that. Um, well, this is a, a campaign that we're running um, in the week preceding Christmas, where rather than driving home or jumping on the bus or whatever it may be, just for one day you, you alter your route home and walk some of it. Um, and the money we raise from this, once people have signed up uh, to do so, will go towards our programme called Home Straight, which is for uh, supporting homeless veterans. So yeah. it's just one day, however short a distance you want to walk, and, 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 yes, and we, you because know, we're not suggesting, you know, if you live in Teesside or yeah. Ireland or whatever, you walk home for Christmas, but we're just in the week before Christmas, you know, just, just it could make a little change. Mm -hmm. And you will have been inspired when you hear someone like Sean here talking about Sean's a former Marine and you served in Iraq. Yeah. And uh, you came back uh, with that post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah. Just tell people how it affected you and how this charity helped you. Just post-traumatic stress, it just affects every part of you. It, it, it breaks down uh, who you are as a person. Uh, your friends and family get affected by it. Your love, the rest of your loved ones get affected by it. And uh, I mean, when that happened to me, that, that broke down my whole family structure, my whole social group, um, my marriage at the time. And uh, before I knew it, I ended up on the streets. And if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for walking with the wounded and uh, other, other core charities, not too sure what would have happened. Sean, a, a lot of people, you know, they see guys like yourself and they say, right, the army goes in there, they do a job, job done, we move on, there's some other crisis in the world or... But you guys, are the, you're forgotten, um, you're left behind. How are you being treated for this post-traumatic stress disorder? Where are you at with that? Um, well, it, the, the treatment came in different stages at first. I mean, with me being on the, with me being on the streets, I needed somewhere secure to be at first and spaces provided uh, a shelter for me at the time uh, and then we needed to start looking at, at my mental health there so GPs get involved, um, therapists get involved, psychiatrists, stuff like that just to just to put you back together. Mm -hmm. Well Ed, um, it's got a lot of people talking in the studio today, we've been saying how we could do it. I, I've worked out, I could certainly walk to the car park no. and then I became ashamed, I, like I became ashamed and I listened to Sean there and I thought, Isabel, we've got to think of a plan, yeah, okay, right? We'll couldn't actually walk home but we've got to think of a way yeah. of doing this in stages and, and getting sponsored. If people want to get involved, Ed, what do they do? Well they have to register at our website, which uh, is walkingwiththewounded.org.uk. If you go on there, you can register very easily. You end up being sent a pack, which has got your, uh, your bib in, which so you're not going to get run over, yeah. so people see you at night. Yeah. Um, and then just do Good. a walk, 200 Good. yards, and it would make a difference okay. to us. Thank you. It's about um, ex-service people, the homeless problem uh, that they're experiencing as well. This charity helps them, and it gets them into employment. Happy Christmas to you guys. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. Christmas. and Good luck with your campaign. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed.